Hi, my name is Olivia and I'm a big buddy with Achieve Miami. Today I'll be reading Olivia by Ian Falconer. This book has an AR reading level of 2.0. I love Olivia because Olivia is also my first name. I hope you will like it too. Okay, now let's get started. This is Olivia. She's good at a lot of things. She's very good at wearing people out. She even wears herself out. Here is Olivia doing a bunch of different activities. Olivia has a little brother named Ian. He's always copying. Sometimes Ian just won't let her, let, leave her alone, so Olivia has to be firm. This is Ian, her little brother, wearing lipstick. Olivia lives with her mother, her father, her brother, her dog Perry, and Edwin the cat. In the morning, after she gets up and moves the cat and brushes her teeth and combs her ears and, mo and moves the cat, Olivia gets dressed. She has to try on everything. Wow, look at all of Olivia's different outfits. On sunny days, Olivia likes to go to the beach. She feels it's important to come prepared. Last summer, when Olivia was little, her mother showed her how to make sandcastles. She got pretty good. Wow, look at this huge sand castle. Sometimes Olivia likes to bask in the sun. When her mother sees that she's had enough, they go home. Every day, Olivia is supposed to take a nap. It's time for your you-know-what, her mother says. Here you can see how Olivia doesn't want to take a nap. Of course, Olivia's not at all sleepy. Here you can see her all jumping around because she doesn't want to take a nap. On rainy days, Olivia likes to go to the museum. She heads straight for her favorite picture. Olivia looks at it for a long time. What could she be thinking? But there's one painting Olivia just doesn't get. I could do that in about five minutes, she says to her mother. Here's this painting, which is like a bunch of different splatter paint. As soon as she gets home, she gives it a try. Here you can see Olivia splat uh, splattering the paint all over the walls. And here you can see her mom's face of how angry she is with her. Time out. After a nice bath and a nice dinner, it's time for bed. But of course, Olivia's not at all sleepy. Only five books tonight, Mommy, she says. No, Olivia, just one. How about four, two, three? Oh, all right, three, but that's it. When they finish reading, Olivia's mother gives her a kiss and says, you know, you really wear me out, but I love you anyway. And Olivia gives her a kiss back and says, I love you anyway too. And this is Olivia sleeping. The end. Thank you so much for reading with me today. I hope you loved Olivia as much as I do. I can't wait to see you again at the next Achieve Saturday. And now I challenge Wes and Noah to, read, to be the next Achieve Big Buddy readers. Can't wait to hear your stories.